Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. We have a what's old video for you today. Let me adjust the camera a bit. Uh, we got some stuff that sold on eBay and we got some stuff that sold on Depop. I haven't been listing on Mercari. I will actually last night I listed about 20 items on Mercari hats. Uh, figure out I'll, I'll try to cross list hats from eBay onto Mercari. As if you've noticed, I've been picking up a lot of hats. I've been enjoying uh, listing and selling the hats. Very simple. Easy to take pictures, easy to list, easy to ship. So I was like, hmm, hmm, you know? So I'm messing with stuff in my store. I'm messing with a lot of things in my store, trying out different things um, because I feel like I hit a wall and I just can't get past that wall. So I, I, I needed to take a deep dive into my store and just look around and see what I could improve and, you know, just see what I could do. So trying different things there. Is it the best time to do that? Maybe not because it's fourth quarter, but you know, some sales are still coming in. So, um, you know, we'll see, we'll see, but I, I need to learn something. I need to, I need to figure out things and so I could grow, you know, cause we, we want to grow. We want to sell more stuff, but anyways, let's get into these sales here. And, uh, yeah, so this is the stuff that sold this past week. Today is Sunday the 24th. It is around 11 o'clock a.m. right now. Uh, so anything that sold this, this previous week here. So let's jump into eBay first. First item we have here is this Lucky Brand collaboration with Triumph Motorcycles. I found this shirt at the bins, paid a dollar, sold for $12 plus shipping. I probably could have got a little bit more money out of this, but it had three pinholes on the front around the belly area. If you look closely, you could probably see them. Uh, I pointed that out in the pictures and I pointed it out in the listings and the description. As I said, there's holes on it. Uh, but I found it at the bins, paid a buck, sold it for 12. So, you know, I'm happy with that. Uh, and also for all my t-shirts, I've been putting a, a uh, fixed um, shipping price, $4.99 all the way across the board. Except for international, obviously. Uh, I use uh, Pirate Ship for that. But yeah, so $4.99 for shirts and also for hats, I've been doing $3.99. So it's been working out so far. So let's get into the next one. We have this Affliction t-shirt here. It's a pretty cool shirt. Found it at the bins. Also had like some like stitching down the sides of it. Uh, the colors were cool. I was surprised it was still in the bin when I picked it up. Uh, paid a dollar for it and sold for $19.99 plus shipping. So that was a good one. And we have this, uh, you guys might remember this shirt. It's a 333 Half Evil uh, Spawn of Satan t-shirt. Um, uh, picked it up at the bins, paid a dollar, sold for $15 plus shipping. Harley Davidson like button down, button up shirt. Uh, we've had this one for a while. I'm pretty sure we picked this one up at the bins. And I want to say the Dallas bins. We paid a buck for it. Sold for $15 plus shipping. Uh, recently, recent video, you might have seen this uh, catcher's mitt right here. This is a youth size and uh, listed it. Sold in a couple within like one or two hours. Sold for $17.99 plus shipping. And this fit in a priority mailer. So I shipped it in the uh, priority bubble mailer. Uh, Hank 921 Hank FM picked this one up a couple weeks ago paid a dollar at the bins and it sold for eleven dollars and sixty nine cents plus shipping Hat we got a hat. We got the first hat sale from all these hats. I've been picking up. We got this hustler power boats uh, cap and It has like like the poker cards on it like the blackjack, you know the king and the ace and it sold for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping we had one uh, buyer come in and um, make offers on eight different shirts I accept I saw that it was all the same person accepted all the offers he bought eight or they bought eight shirts uh, for $58 plus shipping and these are all sh shirts except for two of them that we got at the bins uh, two of them we got at Goodwill so we paid three dollars for them so like all together I want to say we have ten bucks into these shirts and they flip for fifty eight dollars and they're shirts that we've had for a while so I was like yes cleared out eight shirts um, and they're all going to the same person so that was awesome Monique found these uh, little vintage plush Halloween plush plushies like probably a couple months ago 
Uh, and we finally finally listed them for Halloween. And uh, we probably paid about a buck for them. And they sold for $17.99 plus shipping. This one's a cool one. This was a cool find. I don't remember where I got them, but I probably paid like a dollar for it. It is a, I called it a My Pet Monster knockoff plush. Um, and honestly, I listed, I listed this guy high. There wasn't too much info out there on him. Um, I know there was like two listed and uh, I listed it high. I listed it at a hundred bucks just to see what would happen because knockoff toys or bootlegs are pretty hot. So I wanted to see if it worked the same for plush. Uh, I've had it up there for a while now and I had it at a hundred bucks and see I was like I'll take an offer you know somebody makes me an offer I'll take it I no no offers came in I sent out offers and nothing finally relisted it dropped the price and it sold for $26.99 plus shipping it, it's a cool one though I was like tempted to keep it and we got another hat going out AIS Continental uh, trucker hat it has a patch on it and this one's made by K products so it's vintage and it sold for eight dollars and ninety nine cents. I probably could have. I mean, I'm sorry. It sold for eight dollars plus shipping. I probably could have got more for it, but the the foam inside was totally gone, so I priced it low. And somebody made me an offer for eight bucks. I paid um, like fifty cents for this, so I was like, sure, take it. Eight bucks, cool with me. Another hat here, Matthew's archery hat, uh, sold for. Um, well, first of all. It, I didn't know what this brand was, but luckily it had the, the website inside, MatthewsInc.com or something like that. Looked it up and it turned out to be like an archery brand. Archery brand, so I think that helped out because I was able to put in the title, uh, Arch, Ma Matthews Archery Hat. So I think that's what helped it out. Um, somebody made me an offer for $6.01 $6 plus the shipping. I accepted it because I have like 30 cents into this hat, so I was like, sure. I don't know who else is going to be looking for this hat, so might as well sell it now. All right, so let's hop over to Depop and see what sold there. First item we have here is this Patroncito Western T-shirt or Western uh, shirt. We found this at the Dallas Bins. Uh, we paid a dollar for it, and it sold for twenty-five dollars plus shipping. Um, a lot of people were kind of asking us questions about this shirt because they were, wanted it for Halloween. So I'm pretty sure that's what it sold for. It's a cool, it's a cool, um, it's a cool Western shirt. You know, the, the colors on it, the black, the white, the red. It's a, it was a cool shirt. If it was my size, I probably would have kept it. But sold for $25 plus shipping. So that was awesome. Uh, Harley Davidson women's like tank top or sleeveless shirt. Um, it's vintage and it's sold for $18 plus shipping. And we picked this one up at the bins also. And I'm pretty sure I think. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I think, I'm pretty sure it was the Dallas Bins. All right, and then we sold this uh, like long sleeve Marona, just gray and black striped shirt. And it sold for $10 plus, plus shipping. And I know we found this at the Bins, so we paid, you know, probably a buck for it. And actually the same, I wanna say the same person that bought that long sleeve shirt also bought this uh, sweater here. So. They did a bundle and they paid $25 for this ship. So $25 for, for the sweater and uh, $10 for the long sleeve shirt and uh, shipping was on top. So that was a nice little bundle there. Uh, we sold this uh, full throttle saloon. Uh, I know I just have an image of the, the, the graphic here. I didn't get an image of the whole shirt. Uh, but it's just like a burgundy shirt. Uh, it's from Sturgis, from this Full Throttle full throttle Saloon. Uh, we picked this shirt up at the Bins and... Bins? Was it the Bins? Pretty sure it was the Bins. Uh, we paid a dollar for it and it sold for $25 plus shipping. Monique sold this corset here. Uh, she found this at the Bins. I think... I'm pretty sure it was a Dallas Bins. We found this at the Dallas Bins, so we paid a buck for it, and it sold for $20 plus shipping. Uh, and then some Ralph Lauren bootcut corduroy pants sold here for $18 plus shipping. That was also a Bins find. We're kind of really sticking to the Bins now, and I've been going to the Bins more often, or we've been going to the Bins more often, um, just because it's, you know, with the 
the Depop and the change that I'm kind of doing looking for hats and, and t-shirts and stuff like that the bins is kind of it's just like the best place for the price because I've I've gone to the local thrift stores and just the price is too high and and yeah just the bins is the best thing so I've been hitting the bins like often but anyways yeah Ralph Lauren pants sold for $18 plus shipping and again pick these up at the bins and then Monique sold this uh, little, what would this be, a halter mini dress, BB, BB, do you say it? BB, black halter mini dress, uh, found it at the bins, and it sold for $25 plus shipping also. All right, guys, that's it. That's it for our what sold video. You know, uh, I just started cross-listing onto Mercari, so maybe next week we'll have some what sold stuff from Mercari, and I'm kind of just putting hats over there seeing what happens with that seeing what happens with that uh just trying it out trying out different things just trying out different things seeing what works um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh if you did hit us up with a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't we go to the bins so we have bins videos for you and then we have the what solds on monday uh if you ever want to see what sold from all that uh stuff we pick up at the bins um so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.